Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer. I'm going to show you how to install Oracle's VirtualBox without it making an error. Because there's been a lot of RC errors, it's because uh, Ubuntu has ha not had a couple of software packages it's had in the past installed. I have already installed these, but I'm going to show you what to look for. You want to open up the Ubuntu Software Center. And once it's loaded, uh, up here in the search bar, you're going to put, or search box, you're going to put GDEB. And install the top one here. I um, just install the top one, it works fine. I've already installed it as you can see, but, but um, if you haven't installed it yet, just highlight it. And then instead of saying remove, it'll stay installed, so you install it. Once that's done, you want to enter synaptic. And you want to enter the Synaptic uh, Package Manager. And what you do is when you click on that, you just install the top one, and it'll install both of these automatically. Because I think these are like the same thing. And again, instead of saying remove, it'll say install. So just go ahead and install it. I'm going to close this out. And what you want to do is you want to open up the Synaptic Manager. So you're going to type Synaptic up here. Enter your password. Again, it's the password you use when you install Ubuntu. And you're going to type in DKMS. As you can see, mine is already installed, but you're, you're, um, on your fresh install, this will not be installed. So all you got to do is select it. See how it says Mark for installation right here? That is, mine says reinstallation because it's already uh, installed, but yours will be dark right here where it says Mark for installation. You select that. And then when you're done, this apply button will, will light up and you can click apply to install it. So make sure those are installed before you even attempt to uh, install uh, the Oracle VirtualBox. Okay, now you want to open up your browser. You can get the uh, you can download the version inside the software center and in Synaptic Manager of VirtualBox, but you want the latest version. So you're going to go to oracle.com. Go to downloads. And you're going to scroll down here until you see just below middleware server and storage systems, select VirtualBox. And you're going to choose your uh, right platform. If you have Linux Mint 14, it would be the Ubuntu 12.10. Here's the 32-bit platform. I have the 64-bit Ubuntu installed, so I'll be using this one. And if you have the Linux Mint 14, 64-bit, uh, you would also use the same one. And then this would be the Linux Mint 13, 12, 11, 10. You get the idea. So I'm going to download the package. I'm going to save it in the downloads directory. And once it's downloaded, we're going to go to the uh, folder that it's been downloaded in, which is the downloads directory. And once it's done being installed, you're going to right click on it. And you're going to say, not open with GDEB package installer. That's what you want to select right here, not software center. It will install it, but for some reason it doesn't seem to be as clean of an install. So use the package installer. You can see it's loading right now. Just give it a couple of minutes, or a couple of seconds, I should say. Okay, now it says install package. So you're just going to requires installation of two packages. Okay, it doesn't matter. Details. This is what it's going to be installed. Included files, description. So just click install. Show the terminals, you can see what's going on here as it does its little install thing. Okay, yours should be pretty much identical to this one.
Okay, she also says reinstall it, package, remove package. That means it's done installing. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this out. It says same version is already installed, but it's not. The reason why is because it is in the Synaptic Manager too. But I like going to Oracle's website because you know they have the latest. So I'm going to close this. Close this. Now you're going to go up to the uh, Dash Home and you're going to type in VirtualBox. See how it's right here? Okay, you're going to open that up. And now we're going to install Windows 7. I'm installing the 64-bit version. So what you want to do now while it's sitting here, you might as well open up your DVD-ROM tray and install the disk. You can probably hear the door open and close in the background. Okay, you want to select New. Type in, I'm typing in whatever operating system you're going to put in, whether it's XP, XP 64-bit, 2003, 8, 7, 64-bit, or 8 or 8, 64-bit, use that one. I'm installing Windows 7 64-bit, and the name I'm going to give it is, you guessed it, Windows 7 64-bit. I'm going to hit Next. Okay, I want to have at least two gigs of RAM, so I'm going to quadruple this to 2048. That's fine. I'm going to create a virtual hard drive. All these will just remain the same. Virtual box disk image. That's fine. And uh, dynamically allocated. Yes. Okay, I want to make my hard drive 75 gigs in case I have a lot of programs I want to install. So I'm going to hit create. And now we're all set to go. Now when we hit start, make sure this one's selected because you might have more than one installed. I'm going to have a Windows 8 one down here. I want to show you how to install a Windows 8 in another video, but you already know how. You just saw me do it. Okay, you hit start. Okay, see the errors I was telling you that uh, to prevent? As you see, I'm getting them right now. So we're going to pause the video for a while, and when I fix it, I'll show you how, and then uh, we'll continue.